Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talking all things real estate, home ownership, and community related. Well, today we are continuing on with our local business entrepreneur series. And I have another one of my favorites here today. Welcome, Valerie Pence. Welcome, Valerie. Hey, Tracy. How are you? (laughs) Good. How are you? Doing good. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. So Valerie is the the owner and founder of Holistic Health by Valerie. And you, um, by title, I want, because I'm... have, look at my notes. Make sure I have your your title right. But you are a functional nutrition therapist. That's correct. So you um you know like I had on a couple of weeks ago I had uh, Jordan Quick who's a massage therapist the AKA the body mechanic who he knows right. he knows the body from like a muscle muscular skeletal sure you know I'm sure I'm butchering those terms but anyway from that perspective you know the body in a different way more Cells. on more on the cellular cellular level and how everything kind of flows together and, and really like what, um, like what's good for our bodies and what's not. I mean, some things, for sure. some, some things are common sense, right? Other things, not so much. Right. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) So, so yeah, so you have been, you've made this your, um, profession. It's been a passion of yours like for a long time. For a long time. Very long time. I started my practice in 2015. Okay. All right. So the practice started in 15, but you actually, like, you've had a passion for this well before you, you know, merged into the, the career aspect of it. Sure. But, um, but what kind of was the, what was the reason or the motivation, you know, to get you started? Yeah. So um, I have a Mediterranean background, so I always loved food. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I definitely had an idea <laughs> that, you know, anything that tastes good uh, wasn't necessarily good for me. So that was incorrect. So it was great to learn that um, that's not the case. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, really the motivation was was my kids, which for anybody who's a parent, you know, you get motivated by different things once you have children yes. outside of your normal interests. Um, but having two kids with an array of um, just health concerns. Yeah. Uh, different diagnosis when they were really, really little. Yeah. Caused me to just ask questions. Yeah. And a lot of those questions couldn't be answered. Um, so that led me to go back to school for nutrition. Okay. All right. And yeah. And in, so you started off like you're in a different place now, different like client base, like still doing yes. the same things, but you've kind of, you've, it, it's grown and changed over the years, like yes. who your client base is. Because back when you were first starting your practice, my kids and I, we yes. were we were of among you know some of your initial clients, right? And um, that was, I would say, it was life changing and completely overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, things are very different now. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I mean, there was so many things, but we, you know, we were coming from a, a, a standpoint of, I mean, not knowing really anything about, you know, you just assume like the food that's put out there that it's good for you. And, you know, like, oh, you get your fruits and veggies and, you know, right. and all of that. But there were so many little nuances And bigger things that we just didn't know. And, um, you know, so we made more of the, we made changes, (laughs) but, but not like a big, huge leap, right? Like there's actually like changes that, you know, we made from the time we started working with you that are still in place today. Like, that's great. I mean, we feel good at least. (laughs) No, really. Like, well, even some of the small things, like, and I've shared with like, and I'm sure my mom is watching because she always watches the podcast. So is my dad. Hi, mom. Like, hi, mom. Hi, dad. Yeah. <laughs> but like things like the um, high fructose corn syrup, sure. right? Like that's sugar. Like that's not, we all know sugar is not good for our bodies, but that they right. were putting that in things like ketchup and like putting it in things that you don't, you don't need it. Right. Like, Salad dressing. Yeah. I mean, those things are already going to taste like sweet and taste like the way you want them to taste without those things added or right. the, chemically, like the way that the way that they do it. So. Right. So, yeah. So reading the labels, you know, making sure like some of those things like the dyes, like from that point on, like I actually now in which I shared with some of my friends and neighbors this year, I made um, my own taco seasoning. Like I have never again bought a packet of taco seasoning because 
they add in MSG and artificial colors. And why? why? Like, it, it just doesn't even make sense. I mean, I make the taco season I make, it's beautiful. Like, it's got a really, like, rich, vibrant, like, red color. Right. Like, what does the coloring do? <laughs> I mean, why, why, why add that in? Anyway, so not to get too much into that, but those and those are just a couple of minor things. Obviously, there's many other things. Sure. Um, so that's how like you started working with individuals and families and just trying to help with, you know, general nutrition and like making sure that we are fueling our bodies in a way that is actually helping us right. and not right. hurting us. Yeah. So really how it started was um Getting the education. Yeah. And helping my own family. Yeah. Once you see change in a child. So it's one thing for an adult to have a great story and their before and after picture. Sure. But if you're talking about alleviating pain or any type of symptom or concern from a child. Yeah. That's entirely different. Now the heart of that parent is like, oh my goodness, you've changed my child. That's life changing. You know, it's just different from an adult. So when I first started my practice, I was like, I am only going to work with children and families because that is where (laughs) my heart is. And that makes such a difference. And like kids need to set themselves up for success in life so they don't end up a 20 something wondering how they got the way they got. Right. Because they didn't know anything about food or their bodies. And, um, but about three years in, once you start working with children and families, and you get over the initial, um, I was very zealous and very excited <laughs> and very motivated to do all the changes yeah. in all the families. Um, you learn as you go, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What works and what doesn't yeah. work. Um, but in starting to work with then adults, now you're talking about yeah. a lot of metabolic syndrome and cancers and, and various um, autoimmune diseases. So yeah. it got complicated pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, continuing education, additional certifications, lots more schooling. So I was able to get a lot more specialized. So now I'm working with a lot more chronic disease. So cancer and metabolic syndrome. um, So that would cover things like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, high blood Mm -hmm. sugar, um, all of that. It's a little more targeted. So it's highly specialized at this point and very individual. Yes, of course, we still read labels. (laughs) Yes, I try to get people to make bok choy on their first week. Like, you know. Bok choy. Oh, Oh, that was the one. That was a rough go for you. I know. That was a tough one. one. I was like, oh, Valerie. (laughs) That one sealed the deal. Like, nope, um, that's it. I'm out. Um, So it's it's become much more specialized. Um, I'm enjoying a lot more work in the corporate sector. So companies that are looking for their employees to overall – produce a better product yeah. or be more just productive themselves, um, more creative. They realize bringing a, you know, tray of donuts in in the morning is not <laughs> going to lift or right. boost employee right. morale. Yeah. yeah, maybe for like the few minutes as they're like, mm, but then, yeah, the sugar right. crash. So <laughs> um, it's been exciting. To, yeah. There's just, there's a lot of great things coming out of the world of functional nutrition right now, which yeah. is so exciting to work with. And the great news is it is starting to spill over to Western medicine a bit. So it is coming. Change okay. is oh, coming. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Because, you know, even a few years ago, it would have been really difficult here an oncologist to say anything other than it doesn't matter what you eat. Now, I, I still have a decent amount of clients who will say, Valerie, my oncologist is telling me it doesn't matter what I eat. And I'm like, just smile because you know better, right? Like, it's okay. <laughs> but Yeah, there's so much scientific literature now supporting the function of foods. So that's functional foods are a benefit to your cellular health beyond like so an additional function beyond the nutritional profile, say the proteins, the fats, the carbs, the fiber. Right. So which which that's all that, you know, that has been given to us for all of these years. It's like, Okay, you see like the little charts and you need to have right. you see either the pyramid with the like the fruits right. and the veggies or you see the pie chart of like the fats, the proteins, the carbs, you know, right. like yeah, like that's that's it. Not, you know, how do those interact and with different parts of your body right. and what might be better for you at certain stages and not at others. And right. Like, yeah. So now I'm just understanding the functionality of food yeah. and breaking down specifically even phytochemicals. So there's Thousands and thousands, over 10,000 different phytochemicals. So phyto meaning plant, 
mm-hmm. the chemicals that are in plants. So they're just even understanding a few hundred at this point and how they function. So there's so much still to learn yeah. in understanding what it does in the body. Um, but one of the most exciting things that we're learning, and because I work so much with cancer, um, this is just really exciting for me to know that even when you go the traditional cancer treatment route, so whether that's radi- radiation, immunotherapies, chemotherapies, anti-angiogenic um, medications, whatever it is that you're using, functional foods actually assist and help those two work better. Okay. So that's really important to understand. Yeah. So it's you're going to see less and less oncologists or radiologists saying it doesn't matter what you eat because right. the scientific literature is out there. It's available. They would literally have to have their heads in the sand to not <laughs> see that like food matters. Yeah. It functions like medicine. It matters. Yeah. Same with autoimmune conditions. Same with metabolic syndrome. Like food matters. It does yeah. make a difference. And it's really compelling at this point. So it's hard for people to say it doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I should add, actually, a really exciting thing as well is understanding that the best way is in what's considered practical amounts. So practical amounts means you don't have to be buying these insane supplements where you're getting ridiculous amounts of a particular nutrient yeah. that you couldn't get in food. Okay. Same with something like IV infusions. Now, there is a place for that. Yeah. So I'm not saying that anywhere that you get supplements or anywhere that you get some type of like intravenous nutrition, there is a place for that. And I do recommend that to very specific clients in very specific cases. (laughs) Right. But just because, oh, I was, I had a little too much to drink the night before, (laughs) or I'm trying to get thin for my vacation. Like (laughs) the best evidence for nutrition on a cellular health for your body is in practical amounts. Meaning what you eat. Yeah. What you snack on. And maybe if you're a nutritional superhero, the, what you put in your smoothie, right? Okay. Like, yeah, there's that. So really exciting stuff. That's awesome. So, okay, let me ask you this because, you know, we hear a lot that like our food doesn't have all the vitamins that, that we, need. we need anymore. Um, like from your experience and, you know, your research, like, does it? Like, do we still need to have all these additional, like, You know, or is it again on one of those, like, it depends on the specific person and the specific case or, yeah. So certainly it's case by case basis. Yeah. Um, Age makes a difference. Okay. So if you're a new machine, meaning you're (laughs) in your twenties or earlier, you're a pretty new machine. Not Not me either. either, Right. (laughs) Um, But our bodies, number one, they adjust Yeah. and they make stuff out of nothing. Hmm. They make stuff from scratch. They make things out of what's considered raw materials. Wow. So you likely won't get what your recommended daily allotment is for various nutrients. Yeah. And again, those recommendations are constantly being adjusted. Right. If you looked at um, like what Europe's recommendations are, they're entirely different from ours. Oh. They, even the vitamin C levels, it's like, oh, it would be so much less. If you were in Europe, they would say, you don't need that much vitamin C. Right. <laughs> and so it's different based on every country that you're looking at anyway. Okay. So it is a case by case basis based on male or female, yeah. uh, the age you are, how active you are. But other than that, uh, just understanding your body will make a lot of the things that you need based on what's already in there. Okay. So if you are already eating clean, you're active, you're sleeping well, you're trying to manage your stress <laughs> best of the ability. No as stress a, here. As we're coming into an election year, you know, keeping oh, your stress where it is. Keeping your I'm going to turn my is. social media off. Oh, wait, I have self to do tea with Tracy. You know, you've got to keep your social During media election. on. Tea with Tracy. Yeah. But if you're, if you're managing all these various areas, your body's better equipped to manage situations where maybe you're not taking in exactly what you need. Now, something like vitamin D for us Michiganders. Right. I mean, if we have one more cloudy day. I mean, (laughs) okay. It's it's brutal. So so do you know what I do when we actually do have sun? If I'm home while the sun is out? Because I, my house faces south. So I get like this, like direct sun. It like beats down. I open up the front door and I stand in the, like, like a cat or something. (laughs) Yeah. Great. And I just stand there and it's like, and then I'll get like, I actually get really hot, stand, but like just to try and soak up like the yep. sun and the warmth and yes, it's, it's, it's critically absorb important. what I can. <laughs> it's critically important. Yeah. So something like a vitamin D supplement. Yes. Most of my Michigan clients right yeah. now are on a vitamin D supplement. Yeah. It does not replace exposure to the sun. Mm-hmm. It can help, but it's 
it's just not a you replacement. Still need, it is what it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. So there's not one thing that I, that's probably a question I get asked most often. What should I be taking? Yeah. So there's not one thing that I would say, oh, you definitely need this. It depends on what else is going on in your lifestyle and your diet, how well you're hydrating, what you're not putting in. Right. right? Are, right. are you a person that's having cocktails multiple times a week? Like, yeah. What other substances are in your body that are causing you to not absorb the nutrients you're taking in? Right. What, right. what are you taking in that's a, uh, nutrient adversary, meaning even though you're eating those foods, you're not absorbing it well. Yeah. So alcohol would be one of those things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's case by case basis. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, oh, so there's just so much information. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot. It's all exciting stuff yeah. though. So it is. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I like it. Like, and, you know, we were, we were chatting before. I'm not like a, like, I'm not a medication person. Like, and if I can avoid going to the doctor, I will. Sure. <laughs> but I do like 100%, you know, believe in functional medicine and that, you know, what we eat. I mean, even if you don't get too down into the details, if you think about it, right, think about what you eat throughout the day. Like we were talking about like the donut example, right? Sure. So you eat a donut at work or at a party or somebody's birthday and they bring in a cake and you have that and stuff. And it's like, oh, you might have that initial like, woo, you know, this tastes great, you know, like, but then like later, like you have that like that slump and you don't feel good or like in the middle of the afternoon, like, it, you know, even if you didn't have like that, but like, you know, depending on what you're eating or, you know, throughout the day up until that point and you're like, oh, I really just need to take a nap and you haven't done anything like physically strenuous. Like, I mean, if you haven't paid attention to that, <laughs> you know, then, right. you know, you're 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 in it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, and so. most of the time people are ignoring the cues. Yeah. So your body is constantly giving you signals and cues to yeah. let you know how it feels about what you're doing to it, yeah. right? So yeah. you're making decisions for your body all day, every day, and your body is responding and letting you know, hey, here's how I feel about that. Yeah. But for the most part, we're just, we're very distracted. We're very overscheduled. We're very overworked. So we're not listening to it until it becomes so overwhelming yeah. and something we can't ignore anymore. Yep. And then that's at the point usually people say, I don't understand how I got to this. Yeah. Yeah. How did I get to this? How did I get here? Because it's, yeah, it's not usually one big thing. Although like right. somebody who, you know, has cancer or something, I mean, but usually there's a lot of different things. And not to say that, you know, you can prevent that completely, you know, with just your food, we have environmental factors as well. Yeah. But that, yeah, that there's a lot of things that, you know, we get to that point. I mean, like there's even things like, right, high blood pressure and cholesterol levels and things that like you some people are put on medications like you're put on medications that you have to just take every day, but you could have done or you can do things to right. change that. Like, right. So the great yeah. news is you can actually reverse it after the fact. So something like type two diabetes, that is yeah. a lifestyle disease okay. that is a hundred percent preventable and reversible. That's awesome. So even if you found yourself in a space where it's like, Oh, now I have type two diabetes. Yeah absolutely reversible. It's a lifestyle disease. Yeah. So like I said, it's very encouraging to learn these things. Same thing if you have already been put on a statin or, you know, anything like that. One in four Americans is on an antidepressant or something that falls yeah. in that category. Right. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily mean that that season has to be consistent. There are changes to be made. So yeah. um, you're probably wondering, OK, give us something. What's <laughs> yeah, come on. So tell us, Valerie. Give us the secret. What's the what thing? What do you need to do? What's the thing? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I would say, quite honestly, no matter who I'm working with, what what the con yeah. condition is, like I said, at this point, it's a lot of chronic disease, very yeah. complicated conditions. But essentially, it's it's three phases. And the first phase is first relieving the things that are perpetuating the problem. Okay. So there's the re relief phase, okay. right? So some people say, oh, okay, I get it. I put myself on a cleanse. So- I'm not suggesting necessarily a cleanse. That's not step one for everybody. And it's very rarely that I take that type of aggressive approach. Yeah. Might put somebody on a candida cleanse if we're talking <laughs> about a significant candida overgrowth or something like that. But yeah. normally that's not step one. But uh, but definitely understanding you need to relieve your body of some of the things that are causing these problems, right? So yeah. there's the relief phase. Yeah. Then there's the reset phase, meaning once you've relieved your body of some of these things once you identify what some of those factors are yeah and uh, quite frankly 
you don't need an expert like me to tell you that like the morning McDonald's is causing a problem. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Or whatever it may be. <laughs> right, um, right. You know, our version of McDonald's is now Starbucks. But I mean, it's all McDonald's, like no matter how right? you look at it. Yeah. Right. I yep. think uh, Jim Gaffigan talks about that. It's all McDonald's. Like <laughs> it might be a seven dollar Starbucks, but junk is junk. OK, right? like yeah. yep. it is what it is. Yeah. Um, this episode was brought to you by Starbucks for sure. <laughs> but you then go into the reset phase. Um, and you're resetting your body by replacing those things. So it's not a focus on what you can't have. It's a yeah. substitution for yeah. something else. And then it's the restore phase. And yeah. that's typically when you start to see a reverse in symptoms. People want to see that immediate change week one. Yeah. It takes longer than that. Yeah. Patience is not something that most of us have. <laughs> But, but yeah, we're, we're Americans. We want everything well, right, right, right now. Come on, right now. But yeah, so, um, so like, what would be, I guess, what would be something that, like, for not your current patient, you know, sure. load, but, but for just like the average person that just is kind of going along, maybe not, maybe you know, trying to do things sure. like you know the right, the right way, right. do like well. Like how to get started. Yeah. Like what, it, like what would you recommend? So, like uh, two easy things that you could do. Certainly, yeah. um, replace one of your beverages with water. So, okay. so water can do a whole lot on its own. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've seen a, a lot of clients where that's the first thing I'm like, okay, so you're not drinking any water. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Like you don't need to pay me what my, my rate is to learn that, uh, <sighs> I don't you need to drink water. Like, I don't understand that. I carry my water <laughs> bottle wherever I go. Like, I, you know, I'm always like drinking water, like, and even more so like I'm, I have allergies and like, you know, right now, so I might sound a little, but like, I am constantly like, I don't understand, you know, I don't understand it. Like how, how, you know, I know some people like only drink like their diet Coke or like, you know oh, what I'm like, sure. but but how does your body function? <laughs> how Again, are you, so it how makes are you accommodations. Here? I don't even want to say that because yeah. people are like, see, I don't need to have water. It makes accommodations. But when it's making those accommodations, it's at yeah. the cost of something. And it can only yeah. do that for so long before yeah. there's an issue. One of yeah. the biggest things you see if you're somebody who don't dr- does not drink water would be something like kidney stones. Yeah. That's, you well, know, that's, well, that's and, a common one. Yeah. And I'm thinking of one person specifically, and that person had a number of other health it's sure. Just, yeah. But sure. So yeah. your body will make adjustments. Yeah. But and you will get some water in the foods you're eating. But yes, it's not cost. uncommon when I first start working yeah. with somebody and I say, <laughs> how much water do you, do you drink? And they say, is there water in coffee? Does that count? Is there water in wine? Does that count? And I'm like, OK, I see well, where we're starting here. Okay. You know, I've learned to meet people let's where they're at. Flip back a few pages. Uh, that's and- right. <laughs> so replacing one of your beverages with water. OK. Certainly if you could get to, say, half your body weight in ounces a day, that's okay. a great goal. Yeah. Um, you also don't want to drink too much water. So I know a lot okay. of times there's these gallon water challenges and yeah. other things. It's like you got to be really careful to just flush nutrients out. Ah. So you you can oh, have okay. too much water, although that's typically not someone's problem. How would but that, you can? Well, I'm you know I, as you're talking, I'm like, ooh, maybe I am in that category because I do try to drink a lot of water. Okay, well we'll have to we'll yeah have maybe to talk we'll about talk that. okay we'll take that off. We'll have to yeah, talk yeah. about that, but um, it's a lot. And then yeah. the other thing would be place replace one of your snacks okay. with a whole living food. So if one of your snacks happens to be potato chips or help me out, what are some snacks? Cause <laughs> I don't, cause you don't even have any of them. Like I don't, most them. Americans would right, go over to so, Valerie's house and look in her pantry and be like, there's no food here. Okay. To be, to be fair, I have had my daughter's friends come to the house and they say, where is all of your food? <laughs> and I'm like, um, well, the fridge is completely stocked. Right. So what is it they're looking well, for? Do you mean junk? Where is our junk? Because we like don't have that. the fake food. Right. That's what they want to know. Where is the fake food? Like, what do you yeah. guys eat? Everything that's in that fridge. Yeah. Um, but it must be prepared. I've also had a, a high school friend come over and say like, oh, I'm a vegetarian. Great. I got you. You're a vegetarian. And then I display all the options. And she said, I'm not that kind of vegetarian. And I was well, like, what does, oh, you what? mean Oreos and pasta. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Um, oh, so anyway, man. so I would yeah. replace one of the snacks, whatever your snack of choice is, yeah. with one whole living food. So if that means okay. you're replacing potato chips with apple slices and almond butter instead, 
So yeah. that, that would be a, a whole living food, yeah. right? Or carrot yeah. sticks and hummus okay, and, instead of pretzels. Right. Like just take one packaged item yeah. and replace it with a whole living food. Yeah. Great start. Yeah. That, that's kind of where, I, where you start. That actually is a place that I feel like has changed. Not to say I don't have any of the, the packaged <laughs> foods, but I don't have that many. And with just Colby and I at home now, even when we do have something, it's it can really sit there. Like, cause we yeah. we eat whole foods, like for right. the most part, you know. Um right. and really like after a while, which um, you know, you told me this this would happen, but you know, at, at the very beginning I was so like, why? You know, but um, but your taste buds do change. Yeah. You know, they change and you don't actually want like the processed stuff doesn't actually it's not satisfying. Like right. it doesn't even taste as good. Yeah. You know, like sometimes like I, um, I want something sweet, but I'm like, Oh, I don't want like, like a candy bar or something. Like I want like a, like a nice like dessert or like I have a, a recipe for these, um, um, uh, protein cookies, you know, that are delicious, you know, like, yeah. but if I, if I don't have any made, you know, and ready right. to go, like, you know, but, but still like, that's what I would prefer to have over you know something else right. but it does take a while it takes a while to get there so <laughs> yeah so I mean technically your taste bud cells are only last about 10 to 14 days okay oh. so mm -hmm. if you spend a good couple of weeks yeah swapping things out yeah you will start to taste things differently again so there's a couple things happening you're, you're getting new taste bud cells for sure yeah and you're training them on what tastes good but you're also cleaning out your mouth. So if yeah. you're having more whole living foods, more fruits, more vegetables, that literally cleanses the inside of your mouth of all that chemical buildup that you get from processed foods and you will taste things again. Yeah. So, you know, I'm I'm the, a fan of the smoothies and I design a <laughs> smoothie unique to each client and what their needs are. Yeah. And a good majority of them the first day they're like you've got to be kidding me with this. <laughs> and I'm like, nope, it's not tropical smoothies. So, <laughs> oh, nope. Yeah, it's a little so, different. So, yeah, so we won't go down there. But, yeah, I, I went to a, a smoothie place before, and I was like, oh, can I have a smoothie? But, like, do you put sugar in them? And they were like, uh, yeah. I said, okay, can you make me one without sugar? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> but the ones I make at home, right. because, because I don't even know if they're putting the place that I went to, I don't even know if it was, like, actual, like, fruit, you know, because fruit is very sweet on its own, and it adds, like, but anyway – we, we digress, we digress, but yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's amazing how our taste buds are being manipulated by what is being put into our foods. Correct. Yeah. Because we were designed to like and desire whole foods. Right. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So once you do make the switch and like I said, in the beginning, a yeah. lot of my clients say that you must be kidding me. Yeah. Within a few weeks. They're like, this is incredible. Yeah. This is the this is the best thing ever. I have to have it every day. I can't. What am I going to do when I go away for the weekend? And right. Yeah. Um. And then we talk about how you make that work. Yeah. But if you just give it a chance, it's it's not a magic pill. Yeah. It is a lifestyle to yep. eat things like apples, which sounds crazy. Like, <laughs> I understand that sounds crazy. But to choose that over something packaged, yeah. it's one step at a time. And yeah. then when you start to feel a little bit better, boy, that's great motivation to keep going. It, Yeah, it is. And then, you know, for, if you're somebody who likes to exercise or play sports or, right. you know, be active, you definitely notice the difference in your energy levels, for too. Sure. And, you know, or even somebody who's like looking like to watch their weight or lose weight, you can eat so much more if you're eating those whole foods, right? Yes. Like, I, I mean, you can have and like good stuff. Like you can have a lot of it. Like sometimes there are some days where I'm like, oh, I'm trying to eat a certain amount. And I'm like, I am full. Like I don't want to eat more, but I right. still need to take more in or, you yeah. know, so it's usually if I'm out to eat with somebody who hadn't been out to eat with me before, they're kind of watching and they're like, man, you eat a lot. And I was like, yes, I do. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I, I eat a lot. They just I don't expect like that I will eat a lot. And right, I'm like, right. no, I'm a tiny person. I can put that away. <laughs> nope. I'm going to eat all yeah. of that. You're like, my, I, I got a new engine inside, right? Like we we're talking about the new machine. You're right. like, I have rebuilt my machine. Yeah. I would like to think so. It's still an aged machine. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, but it functions pretty darn well at this point. You know, yeah. you put in the right fuel and and there you go. The same yeah. as you would want to take care of a you know, car or right. anything else 
of value. Yes. If you take care of it, yeah. yep. you know it lasts longer. It runs better. Yeah. And it's pretty, that part is pretty simple. Yeah. Well, and, and you know, the thing is too, when we're younger, you don't think about it. Cause like you said, like your body can kind of handle whatever. I mean, I think about the way that I ate, you know, 20 years ago and I'm like, Oh my gosh, you know, like I, I don't even think I'd be able to get out of bed if I ate that way now. Right. Um, but yeah, your body. So, you know, if you're younger and listening to this, um, you know, making those, some of those, like you said, just those simple choices right, right now. And eventually over time, it's just kind of like, you know, when your financial advisor tells you like when you're young, right. You, and that's when you invest that's in just your a future. little bit and then it compounds over Correct. time. So you, you can do that with your health and your body right. as well. Well, so. one of the big differences us in our twenties versus you and I in our <laughs> mid to late forties. <laughs> we don't need to share right? that Valerie. Okay. <laughs> so early, edit that early out, 40s. Joe, can you edit that out? No, <laughs> early forties. Um, I'm 30 something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not, I'm 46. I'm going to just say that, but, um, hormonally it's different. So as we have hormone changes in, in our thirties and in our forties as females, we actually, it, we respond differently. So the same, you could eat the same meal as your daughter. Yeah. So you and your daughter could be eating the same meal. Your body will respond differently just based on different hormone levels. Yeah. Like she's going to handle that insulin response different than you will. Yeah. That's, that's how it changed. And that's how like yeah. when women come see me and they say, I don't understand how I gained weight. I haven't changed anything. And I'm like, right. But hormonally it's different from yeah. five years ago versus what it is now. So it's not different to you, but it is different to your body the way it's managing it. So yeah. we do have to make adjustments, right? So yeah. the information's important. So seeking out the right information for your body. Unfortunately, there's not one book or one influencer or one supplement for everyone. Yeah. Um, individual care yeah. is really the only way that you can um, make necessary adjustments, but even just starting with the basics. Yeah. So sure. Making yeah. small changes. Are, making the small changes and it. then and even having maybe that consultation or like, you know, just to kind of yeah. And the you, individual care makes a big difference. On the right path. On the right path. On the right path. And, yes. you know, just before we go, because one thing we didn't mention is you are also an author. Oh, I, indeed. Yes. Sure. Yeah. We, <laughs> indeed. I mean, you mentioned, like, you know, you said you work with some corporate clients, and I know you do some yes. speaking and, 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 and things along that line. You work individually with clients, but you also... Um, you also are yes. an author. So I hate and- to say that it was way back in 2019 because it's already 2024. <laughs> yeah, but, but we have that time warp thing, right? You we know, those, did. those couple the of COVID years, time like warp. it just whoosh. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Went right. Through, but yes. Yeah. So it was great timing that my yeah. first book came out at the very end of 2019. And so 2020 <laughs> was set up for all, my entire like book tour, right? All yeah. the, everything that was set up, the speaking engagements, the yeah. book signings. <laughs> Boom. You all know, yep. canceled. Nope. Everything nothing, canceled. nothing. Yeah. Um. So that was a little unique, but it's been great. Honestly, yeah. Um. There are plans for two more books, so it's a, a series of cookbooks. Honestly, yeah. but um, it's been great because honestly, it's afforded me the opportunity to have lengthier conversations yeah. with people I probably wouldn't have conversations with just because they're like, oh hey, I, I heard you have a book. Yeah. Right. So so that's been great, and it's a great practical tool yeah and to there's use with great clients and recipes families. i do have a copy like okay. a sign a sign copy i have i'm yeah. sure it's fine yeah. for you Tracy. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, because i came to i came to i think the one the book launch that you were able to have before everything shut down so <laughs> you're right it was like the last big party <laughs> anywhere like, Woo-hoo! <laughs> and then and then everyone was stuck yeah. in their homes that's what happened hopefully yeah. with my book cooking so, yeah yeah well you know what actually like everybody being stuck in their homes that is how tea with tracy began so it began all in, good things all, yeah so you know all good things all came good from things. that yeah that's good <laughs> yeah so so yeah honestly um s- simplest things to do is to just make mindful choices people think it's really complicated yeah and, the, and it doesn't like you said, yeah. they feel overwhelmed that it's too much. So yeah. they do nothing. Yeah. And it's like, I, I just can't do any of it. It's yeah. too much. And part of that is the um, fire hose of information that's available. Yeah. Yeah. That's overwhelming. Yeah. So we have every outlet telling us something that is going to be the exact right thing to do and do all of it. And it's, it's just too much. Yeah. It's a little too much information. So yeah. y- use your intuition, well, be mindful. Well, and I think for anybody trying to, you know, move into more of a, a healthier lifestyle and cleaner eating, <laughs> I, I can speak from like experience, experience as well. Like when you are on the traditional American diet, 
trying you you can't just flip a switch and go over it is it's right. it's too it's much a all at once so it's like uh one of my favorite movies what about bob right we have to baby step our way to it baby steps <laughs> baby yes. steps so you know you start with some of those small changes whether it's you know swapping out one of your your beverages and making mm-hmm. it just nice clean clear water taking one of your processed snacks and making it a whole food right just one right starting with one maybe it is reading the labels and making sure you're not buying anything with high fructose corn syrup or or that has added coloring or flavorings exactly. or, you know, like little things like that. And then you can build from there. Exactly. Um, but yeah, because it does have to be a lifestyle change because anything that you do for just a short amount of time, you stop it and you just go back. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Right. <laughs> and it, so, and yeah. some of it is countercultural. Yeah. I mean, oh, because yeah. you will... You will see every advertisement telling you to do the opposite yeah. of the things I'm talking about. There are not yeah. really advertisements to swap out apples for your pretzels, right? right. So that's, yeah. that's not really there. It's telling you that you deserve this, that you earned this, yeah. that you need this. Like, yep. That is really the message, Yeah, which is why we're really in the state that we're in, yeah. right? So heart disease has been the number one killer for Americans for almost 100 years. Yeah. So. And heart disease is preventable in in ninety nine percent of the cases. Like yeah. there are some birth defects and other things that would sure. cause heart disease, but for the most part, the top three killers are all lifestyle diseases. Oh, that's so sad. Isn't so, that sad? Stuff you like can if, do. That's yeah. That's it's sad, but at the same time, that's why we're doing this, right? That, yeah. That's why you know it's not just to talk about you and your business, but it's you know maybe to encourage somebody who's watching if you're still with us, <laughs> you know, but to encourage somebody to you know maybe start with those small changes right. and um, over time you can see, yeah, you can see the results. Yeah, so. you're right. It is like investing in into your future. So I have a yeah. very similar job to a financial advisor. I'm just trying yeah. to convince you to invest right. a little bit every day. Yeah. The thing is, is that, you know, money, you can always go make more. You can't get you a got new, one body. You, yeah. You got one body. You can't go get a new one. That's, I mean, I, I said on another episode, you know, you might need a knee or, you know, get a, a new part for the knee or the hip or something, but the whole body and internally and the way that it all functions, you uh, get I mean, one. that's it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you don't want to be uh, sitting on your couch and having somebody spoon feed you or uh, popping all your medications, you know, like, you know, right. in your uh, golden years, then, um, yeah, you want to start making some of those choices now. Yeah, it's never so, too late, yeah. honestly. Like, yeah. s- start small, but start right away. Yeah. And, and be consistent and, um, you know, be with like-minded people. Yeah. That's probably the hardest part is people say, I'm the only one trying to do this. Yeah. Right. It does. It, it does make a difference. And, you know, like for me, you know, being a single parent and having the kids like the kids had to eat the, and they still do the way that the way that I prepared or like what right. I'm, you know, what I'm cooking and some things they like and some they don't. Although the girls are off to school. Colby's home. He'll eat anything. He's the best. You know, yeah. he's the best when it comes to that. So Mike, you know, and he likes healthy food. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. See, you've made the effort. So he's, yeah, he'll, that's great. He'll well, congrats. It. Good. <laughs> I'm officially giving you a round of applause. <laughs> ah, thanks. Good no. job. <laughs> yeah. So, well, thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us. I know um, schedules are tough and I appreciate you uh, slotting us in for today. So, and, and sharing your information. And um, if anybody is interested in getting more information, um, you know, if they're, if you, whether or not you have immediate health concerns or, you know, you just know you need to make changes and you want to find out specifically what is going to be best for you, um, you know, I, I have Valerie tagged in this so you can get in touch with her and uh, I'm sure she would be happy yeah, to be happy, help. Happy to help. Yeah, for sure. So Awesome. Thank you so, so much, Tracy. All right. Thanks, Valerie. And uh, thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Tea with Tracy.